tuning in from all around the world. Dhe duam të mi presim çdo person që është në live stream nga gjithë bota. We invite you to say hello in the comments and where you're tuning in from. Ë jeni të mi fritur të bëni komente dhe nga I'm going to invite everybody else to stand. Mund të çojemi. And Father, we just thank you that you've allowed us to gather again together on this beautiful Sunday morning. Sot ne duam të falenderojmë që ti na kemi lëdhur për sëri së bashku në këtë të djelë kaq të bukur. And we just call upon you now. Dhe ne të thërrasim ty tani. To inhabit our phrases. Që ti të banosh në mes të lavdërimeve tona. And indeed as we glorify you and exercise the authority you have given us. Ndërsa ne të lavdërojmë ty edhe ne u praktikojmë autoritetin që ti na ke dhënë. May your will be done. And your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Let's glorify the Lord.
I will follow where you lead. I will follow where you lead. I put my faith in you. And I will follow where you lead. I put my faith in you. Yes, I will follow. I put my faith in you, that I will follow where you lead. Where you lead. I put my faith in you, so I will call upon your name and keep. When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are mine. Yes, I am yours, and you are
Jesus, you are our desire this morning. We're gathered here to worship you. So, Lord, manifest your presence in our midst. As we glorify you, Lord, be glorified beyond these walls. Be known. As the prophet Habakkuk said, in our day, let your wonder be known. Be known through us. As we walk in you, God. You alone be our heart's desire this morning. And let us worship you. You alone. You alone. You alone are my heart's desire and alone to worship you. You alone are my heart's desire.
this place. If there's anybody in this place that needs a healing touch from God this morning, I just want you to lift your hands wherever you are in faith. Father, we just pray for those around this room that have their hands lifted right now. And we call upon the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. We call upon the virtue of healing to flow from the throne in heaven into the bodies of every person whose hands are raised in this place that healing and wholeness would be done in their bodies even as we sing and speak. in the name of Jesus the authority given the character Karakteri, the glorious name of Jesus Christ Amen Amen, Amen. Praise the Lord You can be seated if you can and I want to say we're glad to see you all here this Sunday morning We're glad you came out and, and took upon you the challenge of meeting the restrictions to come together because there's power in the gathering. The apostle writing in Hebrews said, do not forsake the assembling of the saints. Don't give up the assembly. Don't let the ecclesia dissolve. Oh, because there's, there's power and an exponential release of authority beyond the authority of the believer individual there is authority in the corporate proclamation of the Lordship of Christ. Autoritet i shumzuar në shpalja i Bledja i besimtara. Close enough. <laughs> Sorry. You can't even see me laugh under the mask. But praise the Lord. La we bizotit. are glad that we're together. Amen? Amen. Well, Amen. we want to continue to worship the Lord. We, Do we, prayed, ta zotin. we prayed for healing. U lutëm për shërim. If, you, if you feel that you still need healing, We'll pray for you again. Because we believe we were wounded for, or he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement that brought us peace and reconciliation was on him. Uh, the nimiche kaso or the sola pacha the paitimi is the biata, and by his stripes we are healed. Then the primet burata veta ti ne imite shruar. Amen. 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 So we just want to walk in that belief. Ne duam te etsim nek te besim. Because he came that we might have life. Sepse ayerdi che ne te kemi yet. He is the author of life. And he wants us to have life and life more abundant. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, we're still under some restrictions, as you can tell. And so we'll let you know if anything changes. We're still waiting on the answer about children. Under 12. 
None to me the But uh, we're hoping that that answer is going to come and we're going to be able to have more families here. Po shpresojmë që do kemi një përgjigje në mënyrë që të kemi më shumë familje. But right now we want to uh, continue to worship the Lord through our giving. Tani do të vazhdojmë të adhurojmë Zotin nëpërmjet të dhënit. If you believe in what IPA does. Nëse besonin atë që IPA bën. Our purpose is to provide an atmosphere where we connect and worship God. Qëllimi unë është që ne të kryojmë një atmosferë ku të mblidhemi së bashku dhe të adhurojmë përëndin, ku ne duam njëri tjetëri, dhe ku shkojmë në të gjithë botën, dhe predikojmë unë gjillin dhe i mësojmë njërzit që të bëjnë ato gjëra që Jezusi në urderan. We believe that we are here in order to see his body arise and shine. So that his glory rises on us and covers the earth like the waters cover the sea. Right now we're limited in some of our activities. We do our Sunday morning. We've been our, doing our Tuesday morning humanitarian program. And every person in this church should be speaking the word wherever they go. So if you believe in what we're doing, and you want to sow into that, we're going to receive this morning's tithe and offering. As, as Whitney and Mira and Ted and Flory assist us in worshiping the Lord during this time. So, Father, we bless this offering. We ask you to multiply it to meet every need of this body. To pay for the electric bill në mënyrë që të paguajmë për energjinë elektrike, për të blerë ushqimin për të varfrit, të përgatitim programe për fëmija që të mund të këthejmë për sëri, të paguajmë internetin në mënyrë që ne të japim, të bëjmë shërbesën në të gjithë botën, dhe gjitha kjo zotë letu jetë për lapin të të në emër në Jezusin. Amen. Amen. I 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to thank Sarah before we even begin. For her willingness to translate on these Sundays. And she's doing a great job of it. Praise the Lord. I'm going to remove my mask as I'm far enough away from all of you. And I just wanted to remind you that we, are, we have been looking at the epistle of James. And this morning we want to continue. It's kind of a line by line, word by word, but we're, we're, we're emphasizing certain lines more than others. But today we're going to begin in the third chapter of James' epistle. And so I'll give Sarah a few moments to find it in her Bible. And if you're not sure where it is, as I said last week, it's in the New Testament. After Hebrews. So it's near the back of your Bible. And, and we want to look at this passage this morning. And see how it applies to our lives. Last week we talked about being doers of the word and not just hearers. Faith without works being dead. And so we need to act upon our faith. And allow our faith to live in us. Well, today, James goes on in his letter. And it's interesting, after he talks about you need to actually do he, he intersects with this interesting first few sentences of chapter 3. Not many of you should presume to be teachers. Interesting. We just said we're supposed to be a walking witness. We're supposed to proclaim the gospel. But then here he says, now, not many of you should be teachers. Sorry, Mary, I was preaching. Sorry, okay. 
So not many of us should presume to be teachers. Because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. Now, I want to I want to dwell on this for just a moment. Because what I see in the church, not necessarily here, but in the church universal today, are a lot of people that want to tell everybody else what to believe. I was sharing this morning about a, 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 a online social group that I read sometimes. And it's full of people who are experts on spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. Luftus 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 and as I read it, I cringe at the lack of knowledge. I don't know, what's cringe? Because they don't know what they're talking about. And yet they're very free in spouting off their wisdom. Now the Bible says, judge not lest ye be judged. The Bible thought, don't be don't judge unless you are willing to be judged. Now remember, it doesn't say don't judge. The Bible says we should judge prophecy. The writer of the book of Acts said that the Thessalonians were noble because they checked the words and made sure that the preaching was accurate. But when you judge, know what you're talking about. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Know what you're talking about. Be prepared for judgment. If you choose to judge. But teachers should expect to be judged. Teachers should expect to be questioned. And we need to prepare. And we need to be knowledgeable. And we need to know what we're talking about. What a sorry state the world is in because of so many teachers on the internet. I meet people all the time who hear something on the internet and think that it's true. And then we check the scriptures and they're like, oh, I guess that wasn't true. We've got some great Bible schools right here in Tirana. You know, the Evangelical Theological College. That we can that we can go and find out what the word says if we don't know on our own. Judge or don't presume to be teachers because teachers will be judged. More strictly. I was talking to someone who uh, who well never mind. We'll move on to verse 2. We all stumble in many ways. We all stumble in many ways. 
One of the things I'm learning in this environment that has welled up in 2020 is a lot of people are talking but very few people are listening. I've always learned from my past in communication it's not nearly as important what you say as to what others hear. And I am discovering a lot of people refuse to hear anything that they haven't already chosen to hear. And as I, as I teach, I explain to people, the bigger their audience, the more careful they have to be with their words. The greater the sphere of influence, the more precise you have to be with what you say. 20 years ago, when I was starting a church, and I had 13 people who all knew me, I could say something, they knew my personality. They knew my history. And they understood what I was saying, even if I wasn't abundantly clear. But today, with larger groups, and even people that tune in on the internet, we have to be more careful and weigh our words. Because we all stumble. But we definitely don't want to be a stumbling block to someone else. Anyone who's never at fault in what they say is perfect. And how many people here are perfect today? Well, Jesus is here, so one. Because we've gathered, he's here with us. Amen? And very few are able to keep their whole body in check. Then verse 3 goes on to say, when we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Your mouth can dictate your entire life. You can be controlled. You can be influenced by what you speak over yourself. Think about that. Or for example, ships. They're so large and they're driven by strong winds. But they're steered by a very small rudder that takes them wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body. If we didn't all have masks on, or if most of us didn't have masks on, I'd say, stick out your tongue. <laughs> and, I, and I'm old enough now that I wouldn't even be able to notice from this far away. I'd have to put on my glasses to see if you were sticking out your tongue. So I'm sure there are some Sundays when people do that just because of what I say, but I don't notice. It's a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by one small spark. 
The tongue's also a fire. Edhe gjuha është zjar. A world of evil among the parts of the body. Bot pa drejtësie, është vend, uh, kështu është vendosur gjuha mi të gjimtyrve tona. Wow. Wow. The Bible says that your tongue Biblia thot se gjuha jote is a world of evil. Ësht një bot pa drejtësie. It corrupts the whole body. E korupton të gjithë trupin. It sets the whole course of one's life on fire and is itself set on fire by hell. If I have a list of trupin, then there's a rotten yetus, then this is a ferry. It's not what I'm saying. It's not, it's it's not what I'm saying. It's what the Bible is saying. That's some heavy stuff. And we're so loose with our words. The name is Kaj. Sometimes we're purposefully evil with our tongues. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are tamed and have been tamed by mankind. I remember when I first came to Albania. Very few people had dogs as pets. Am I right? Dogs were wild on the street. And the only, the only dogs people were familiar with were the German shepherds that the police used to have. Yeah. You definitely wouldn't think of having a dog in your purse or in your house. But now, everybody's got pets. Because they're not wild, they're tame. Because we can do that. We can tame animals. Monkeys. Maimonat. Horses, uh, dogs, and well, I don't know if you can tame a cat. <laughs> but people still have cats in their house, but the house of the cats in charge. But all of those things have been tamed by man. But no human can tame his tongue. Again, it is a restless evil. Full of deadly poison. Wow. 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 So what do we do about that? No man can tame the tongue. But as we sang earlier, we are led by the Spirit. So while in our own strength, go ahead and do that. <laughs> but the Spirit <laughs> can tame the tongue. As some of you know, I have a little five-year-old that I spend a lot of time with. But he and his father sometimes go out to a coffee bar with some other people. And the other day he said something and I was like, what? Where did you learn that? He said, well, from my dad's friend. Those are not good words to be using. So, hopefully the Holy Spirit is going to tame both of their tongues. Because it is full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord. And with it we curse our fellow human beings. And with it we curse our fellow people. 
people who've been made in God's image. Njerëz të cilët janë krijuar në shëmbëllëtyrën e Perëndisë. Out of the same mouth comes praise and cursing. Nga një tagoj deri bekimi dhe mallkimi. Brothers and sisters, this should not be. Vëllezër të mi, nuk duhet të ishte kështu. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? Mos val burimin zjerr nga një tavrim ujë të ëmbëlit të hidhur? Can a fig tree bear olives? A mundet fiku të the yap olin or a grapevine bear figs also hard the afich nor can a salt spring produce fresh water kështu as një burim nuk mund të jap uj të kripur dhe të ambër two kinds of wisdom ka dy lloje e njohurish ose dyturish who is wise and understanding among you kush është ndërju i urt dhe i ditur let him show it by his life good life let ta tregoj me sjelljet të mirë veprat e ti and by deeds done in humility that come from wisdom. Paul said, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. See, we have the mind of Christ. When we allow the mind of Christ and the Holy Spirit to overwhelm us, our words will reflect the mind that we have. Kështu kur në elëm, mëndin e Krishtit, ambizëtëroj dhe frymën e shejqët në ambush të gjithin, ne mund të arrim që ne mund të arrim, do të arrim të kontrolojm dhe të reflektojm bja to që farë ne po themi. Our actions and our words will reflect Christ, not nature. Fjallet dhe veprime tona do të reflektojnë krishtin dhe jo natyren tonë. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, don't boast about or deny the truth. Por në qofë se në zemrën tuaj keni smirë të hidhur dhe grindje, mos umburni dhe mos gënjeni kunder se vërtetës. See, most of the cursing that we do Kështu që e shifni që shumica e malkimeve që ne bëjmë Is either envy është ose smirë Or bitterness Ose grindje, hidhërim you know, there are two ways to get ahead in life. There are two, two ways to reach the top in life. Pull everybody down below you. Or rise above. Pulling everybody down is what the enemy wants to do. But Jesus wants to lift you up. And then if you lift others up, you can go higher. But if you pull everybody down, you all end up in the ditch. Yeah, I don't know. Grop. Grop. So do we allow our bitter envy and, and, and selfish ambition to guide us? Or do we allow the wisdom of God and the truth of Christ to drive us? Earthly wisdom does not come from heaven, but it's unspiritual and de not demonic. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. But wisdom from heaven is first of all pure. And peace loving and considerate. Submissive, full of mercy and good fruit. That wisdom is impartial and sincere. Peacemakers who sow in peace. And they reap a harvest of righteousness. Chapter 4 goes on to continue this train of thought. 
të na trajnoj për këtë mënyrën e të menduarit. Don't presume to tell everybody else what to do. Mos u pozoni të tregoni të gjithë të tjerë vëse qëfar duhet të bëjnë. Don't presume to be a teacher. Mos u pozoni të qeni të mësues. Unless you're really ready to be judged on how good your teaching is. Vetëm nësi je i gatshëm për të gjukuar se sa cilësor, sa i mirë është mësimi ytë. And watch your words. Dhe ki kujdes, mati fjallit e tua. Use wisdom. Përdor urtsin. Be led by the spirit. U dhe hi që nga flyma e shenjt. Speak slowly. Or be slow to speak. Me ndohë dhe më thënë, bëhë i nga dalëshëm për parësës flasësh. Sarah wishes I would speak slowly. Be slow to speak. Gjini të gazat që në farës të flisni. And use wisdom. Dhe përdor një utësin. Produce good fruit. Dhe përdor një frytë të mirë. So what causes fights and quarrels among you? Kështu që të farës kakton grindje mes jush. Don't they come from desires to battle within you? Nga vin luftra dhe përleshje të ju, a nuk vin nga qefet që luftojnë në gjumëtyrë të tuaja? Most of the arguments and fights and battles that I'm reading on, and, and I really try not, I try to stay away from social media. Shumë nga argumente dhe gjera që po të gjojmë për arsyët pëse po shkaktrojnë luftra sot, në faktën po mundohëm të qëndrojnë larë nga media. But everybody wants everybody else to think, or to know how smart they are and how right they are. Por qëto kush do që ta kuptojnë, që na flet neve duham që ne ta kuptëm që a i tjetëri e shumë i zjuar dhe di se qëfar po flet. That comes from battles that, desires that battle within us. Kjo vjen nga jo dëshqira që luftojmë brënda nesh. Have to prove myself. Unë duhet ta të regoj, ta provoj vetën tima. I have to have an audience. Duhet kemi një audience. A few weeks ago, some American Par disa javër, disa Amerikan Asked if you could get fresh sweet corn in Albania. Më pyet anë a mund të marë është nga i misri jënë bëllëtu në Shqipri. And the answer is no. The Perdija Imi said, "Yo." And somebody said, "You can only get frozen or canned." Unti mari mosa të ngrira ose në për kanacha. Generally, unless you jump through hoops, the answer is no. But I, I told them I was like, "But you can get some vacuum packed at Spar." Por mundi mari disa në për qese vakumin në për pikat. Të Spari. Ah, të Spari. I said it's not fresh. Nuk janë të freskë. It's imported from Senegal. Ashtë importuar nga Senegali. Janë të importuar nga Senegali. But it's not too bad. Por nuk janë dhe është keqë. And then somebody got and said, well, that's not fresh. Edhe t'i kushë erdi dhe tha, e po, nuk janë të freskë ta. And it's not local. Dhe nuk janë atë zëndë asë. That's why I said it was imported from Senegal and not fresh. Kjo është arsia pëse unë tharë që janë të importuar nga Senegali dhe jo të freskëta. And then they continue to just go on and tell me how horrible my comment was. Dhe atë vazhdojnë e më tregojnë mua se sa i të meshëm ishte komentim. And I was like, seriously, I was just helping the guy find some corn. Edhe unë isha, e po unë tjeshtë presova që për së të ndimoja pak që të gjente pak misër. But I don't even, usually I don't even bother to help people anymore because everybody will yell at you. Edhe unë fakt nuk është janë të shumë i kujdeshëm për i gachëm për të ndimuar të tjere, sepse e shofë që të gjithë janë gachëm për të bërtitur, për të kësërë më brapqë. Because everybody wants to show how right they are. Sepse të gjithë janë kajshë të gachëm për të të reguar se sa të drejtë kanë. You desire, but you don't have, so you kill. Kanë kajshë shumë dëshirë, për në të vërtet nuk kanë, dhe më thënë kështu që ata e vrasin. You covet, but you can't get what you want. Ti dhe më thënë kja të dëshirë në ma dhe për të pasu, për nuk e ke. So you quarrel and fight. Shë që ti mendohesh, e grindesh edhe lufton. Sometimes we just need to be quiet. Do njëherë, ka në vëshë, ta qepim. I'll sit there and say, I really wish that guy could get some corn, but he'll just have to live without it. Dhe më bratë dhe djalin për shpresoja e shpresoj që të mari pak misë nga kjo që ka, po ose të mund të jetoj pa të. I don't want to fight over something so trivial. Nuk duha të luftoj me ka që e gërësi për ditë shka. You don't have because you don't ask God. Ti nuk e, sepse nuk i kërkom për rëndis. And when you ask, you don't receive because you ask with the wrong motives. Dhe kur kërkoni, nuk e një, sepse kërkoni me motive të gabuara. Now I want you to remember that. Dhe duha që ju të kujtoni këta. Because there's also ask and it will be given to you. But this says, 
you ask, and it's not given to you because you've got the wrong motives. Edhe thot, ju lupni dhe nuk merni, sepse lupni i keqe asë që të... Sepse i ka koni me motivet e gabuara. Is that a contradiction? Ashtë kjo, si qka e kundër? No. Jo, nuk ashtë. Because that other one says, ask anything you ask in my name. Sepse është thënë, kërkon, gjithë qka që ju kërkoni në emrin tim. And again, we need to understand that name is not magic words. Dhe duhet të kuptom që emrat nuk janë pjallë magjike. No ema, name. As një emrë. The word noema, which means name. Fjala noema, cila ka, du të thot, emër. Speaks of character and authority. Flet për karakterin dhe karakterin autoritet. Motive stems from character and authority. Motive që vinë nga karakteri. You don't have because you don't ask. Ju nuk e një sepse nuk kërkoni. Or maybe you ask, but you're not asking in the character of Christ. Ndërsa e kërkoni, për nuk i merni, sepse nuk i kërkoni në karakterin e Jesus. Nuk i kërkoni në autoritetin e përëndis. Father, send down lightning and kill all my enemies. O përëndi, fike dritën dhe gjitho, shkatroj gjitho armishtë e mi. Jesus said, no, that's not how we ask. Dhe Jesus i tha, jo, nuk është kjo mënyra se si në kërkojmë. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Mos bëni asë gjë për rivalitet ose për të shqira tuaj të kota. Weigh your words. Shikoj fjallet e tua. Weigh your motives. Shikoj edhe motivet e tua. I'm going to skip down for time's sake. Do ndalojmë për shkak të kohës. He gives us grace. A i na epneve grace? Here. Na epneve here. That's why the scripture says, God opposes the proud. Kjo që arsuja pëse pëse Biblia thot, Kundërshton, but shows to the proud, to krenarin e popullet, ose të njerëzve. But shows favor to the humble. Por i të regon favor të përullërve. Verse 7, submit yourself then to God. Vargu shtatë thot, nështroju një prapë përëndis. Submit your tongue to God. Nështroju e gjuhën të ndë ndaj përëndis. Submit your pride to God. Nështroju e kërnarin të ndë për para përëndis. Submit those desires within you that do battle to God. Nështroju e dhe të dëshirat të tua që luftojnë brënda të e të kërëndia. Resist the devil. Resistoj një djallit. Resist the adversary, the one who comes against you. Rezistoj një ati që vjen për t'ju kundërshtuar, që vjen kundër jush. And he will flee. Dhe i do të largohet. Sometimes we just need to be quiet. Dhe një herë kemi nevoj që thjesht të rimurt. And the enemy will leave. Dhe armiku do të largohet. I was reading news yesterday. Po, ledzoja lajme tje. That I never thought would happen, but. Për gjërat cilat më ndovaj që kur nuk do të ndovin. They passed a law in Turkey turning Aya Sofia më museum back into a mosque. And Twenty years ago I was in Istanbul. Istanbul. And these four young boys came up to me in Aya Sofia. Sofia. And they wanted to start an argument. And they said, Are you American? Dhe më thanë mua, a jeti Amerikan? E po, shkoqa e dukshme, për jo i këthehem. A mund t'ju për një pyetja? Sigurisht. You see this building, correct? E shrek të ndërtesën, apo jo? I said yes. Po. He says, you know that it was built as a church. E di që ishtë ndërtuar si një kish. But then it became a mosque. Por më pasu këthuje në një gjami. Don't you think that means that Islam defeated Christianity? A nuk me ndonti se kjo të regon që Islami e mundi kështërimin? I said, well, Islam and Christianity are the two largest religions in the world today. I don't think either one has been defeated. See, he wanted to fight. And so he was like, well, don't you think this building would be better as a church? A nuk me ndonë një që kjo ndërtesa dhe jetë më mirë si një kishë? I said, this is a huge building. Edhe e them, e po kjo është një ndërtesë shumë më madhe. There aren't that many Christians in Istanbul. Nuk ka dha e shumë të kryshterë në Istanbul. Maybe it's better to leave it like it is. Ndoshtë ashtë më mirë që të lëmë ashtu si qështë. And he said, 
You don't think it should return to a church? Ti nuk mendoj se duhet kthehet në një kish? I'm like, no, I think it's good as a museum. Dhe i them, jo, mendoj se është goxha mirë kështu si muze. And he said, well, and he thot, looked at his friends. Dhe i thot, e po, mirë, edhe shikon, shok të vet. And he said, I think we should go. And they left. Mendoj se duhet ikim, edhe ikon. See, they wanted to start a fight. Kështu që ata donin vetëm të fillonin një lutë. But we use God's wisdom. Po kur ne përdorim urtësinë e perëndisë dhe i vëm i vëm frej gjuhës tonë. Our enemy will leave us. Amigo do të largohet. I wanted to say something to the person that complained about the corn. Doja ti kthesh edhe ti thoja diçka ti personi i cili u ankua për misrin. And I would probably still be typing back and forth with her right now. Dhe do isha akoma duke ngritur, jo ti po ti po ti kësho gjë gjithkohës. But sometimes we just have to be quiet and the enemy will leave us. We don't even need to have the last word. There's an old joke in, 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 in marriage counseling. If you have, men, if you have to have the last word, let it be yes, dear. <laughs> but we do. We want to be the ones that say the last thing. Okay, we can call it a piece, but you know I was right. Sometimes it's not worth it. Submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he'll come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. Don't live in the flesh. Don't find your pleasure in the world. Brothers and sisters, don't slander one another. See, with your tongue you can curse or you can bless. Anyone who speaks against a brother or sister or judges them speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law, you're not keeping it, but sitting in judgment on it. Well, you should do this and you should do this and you should do this. There's only one lawgiver and one judge. The one who's able to save. But you, who are you to judge your neighbor? Faith without works is dead. The law can be summed up in love the Lord your God with all your mind and all your strength and all your soul and all your mind, strength, spirit, and heart. I had a Joe Biden moment. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Love the Lord your God with everything that's in you. And love your neighbor as yourself. Tame your tongue. Be careful with what you say. I tell people, don't say, I have or I, I am. I have this disease, I am. This is my identity. Be careful what you speak over yourself. 
Ki kujdes ma ato se qëfar shpal you know, për mbive të nëtënda. On Tuesdays, when people want to tell me how horrible their life is. Të martave, ku shdo person që vjene dhe do të më thot mua se sa të mesh me shjeta e tyra. It's like a competition. If somebody tells me how bad their life is. Êtë si kur është një kompeticion, një konkurs me disë personave se kusha ka jetën më të keqa. Somebody else can tell me, well, my life's even worse. Dikush më të më thotë mua, e po jetë a jetë më shëtë më keqë. It's like, well, as long as you have that mindset, you're never going to be set free. Dhe për e shkosa, ti do keshë të loj mënyrë të të mënduarit, nuk është të do shlirohesh. Watch what you say. Ki kontrol, shikos të qëfar pëthua. Because what flows out of your mouth becomes what is around you. Të të ajo që ti në zjerë nga goja jo të bët ajo se qëfar të rëthon ty. It's like if you live near a river that's polluted. Êshtë si të jetosh në një lumi cili është indotur. The river pollutes the banks around it. Dhe lumi gjithashtu edhe ndotë edhe ato brigjet anët e ti. You ever go to Bregu Lumit and there's trash and everything on either side of the river. Because what flows out pollutes. So let praise and blessing flow out of you. Because your tongue and your mouth guides where you go. Sepse mëndja dhe gjua jote kontrolojnë se ku ti po shkon. When you feel in your heart to curse your brother. Kur ti ndje në zemrën të ndë i gatshëm për ta malkuar vlanë të ndë. Allow the Holy Spirit to replace. Lejoje primën e shenjë të zvëndësoj. What your inner battle wants to speak. Të zvëndësoj atë se qëfara jo beteja brënda ti e kërkon të thot. With a blessing. Edhe zvëndsoj e me një bekim. A ka kuptim kjo këtë më njësë kishë? I hope so. Për të qëpërsoj që po. I hope so. Qëpërsoj se po. And I'll stop there. Dhe të ndaloj këtu. We just need to guard our words. Duhet i vëmëre fjallet tona. They have power. Ato kanë fuqi. They have influence. Kanë dikim. They exercise control. Ato gjithashtu edhe ushtrojnë And we need to allow the Holy Spirit to bring them into line with the obedience of Christ. This letter was written to the diaspora of Christian Jews that had left Jerusalem. And others who had come to Jesus and, and, and the Messiah through the teaching of the apostles dhe të tjevër të cilët ishën drejtuar, kishën ardhur të krishtin e përmjet mësimeve të dëshepujve, të apostive. Por kjo letër sot ka pëtë një të mvlerë si që ka pasur edhe për ta më për para. Në një botë të cila është më mashtruese, më frikshme, më zemruar, më hejtëful, Më plot u rejtja. We need as believers in Jesus Christ. Ne duhet si besimtar në Jezus Krishtin. To allow him to flow out of our mouths. Ta lejojmë atë të dal nga goja jonë. We need that heavenly wisdom to guide us. Kemi nevoj për artë të urtësin hynore që të në drejtojnë edhe. And we need the actions of love. Kemi nevoj për veprat të dashurisë that can only come from the love of God që mund të vinë vetëm nga dashuria e Zotit to not only define who we are që jo vetëm për të saktojnë atë që ne jemi but to witness to those we encounter por edhe të dëshmojnë për atë të tjerë të cilët ne takojmë even if we are right edhe nëse kemi të drejt we don't always have to prove it jo gjithmonë kemi të detyruar të aprovojmë if you know who you are Nëse di se kushtije, you're not always seeking to get an affirmation from everybody else. Nuk duhet të jesh duke kërkuar të marrë është një aprovim nga gjithë të tjerët. Be affirmed by Jesus himself. Ji konformuar në Jezus Krishtin. And quit trying to have the last word with men. Dhe bolu për poqët të keni pjallën në fundit me njërëzit. Stand with me if you can. Ngërion e një që se mundën e. And just say, Father, dhe thoni atë, I thank you for your love. 
I thank you that you gave your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Who died on a cross. That I might be reconciled to you. Who died on a cross. That I might be healed, saved and delivered. I thank you, Father, for sending the Holy Spirit to endue with power and wisdom those who believe. And now, Lord, I surrender my tongue to you. I surrender my mouth to you. Let me walk in your wisdom. Let me walk in the Spirit. That I would indeed be a witness for Christ Jesus. Bless our nations, God. And let us be an agent of blessing. Father, let our tongues speak wisdom and knowledge and blessing and be silent at the times of cursing that you might be glorified and that we indeed might rise and shine in the light of Christ that your glory might rise upon us. Father, remove the fear that comes with the coronavirus. Father, remove the racial hatred that is rising up around the world. And let your people truly be one as you are one and let us demonstrate a love like Christ demonstrated a love that led him to die in our place and we pray in the name of Jesus Amen Amen May you all be abundantly blessed this week. You are right to Jesus that you need to be cool. Me bollocked in that Sayava. Look forward to having you back next Sunday. This the second that you came up to risk to it. I know it's hot. I did just vap. I know it's difficult. I did just ever steer. But it's important. First there in the stage. That the ecclesia. The ecclesia. Sing praises to the Lord together. Ti kandoi lavderi me prandi se bashko. Listen to the apostles teaching. The joy nil musti me ta apostuve. Pray. Lutoni. Fellowship. Baskohoni kini komuni komuni kime njeri tete. And allow His glory to rise from this place and cover our nation. The leoni che lavdia ti tengri nga kuvan dot mbulo jith kombin. So we'll be back next Sunday at 10:30. Dot ekthe misteri shte dielan na orandite jusam. And we're looking forward to when we can have midweek services and everything else again. But until that time, wherever you go and whatever you do, go in love, speak in love, and be a blessing. Have a wonderful week. God bless. By the sound of his voice, seas that are shaken and stirred can be calmed and broken from my regard. So throw it all, throw it all, my eyes are on you. Throw it all.
not believe Even when my eyes cannot see And this mountain that's in front of me Will be thrown into the midst of the sea Our lives, let's speak that over our lives. It is well.